Could we really be alone in this universe? This tantalizing question has captured the collective of mankind for generations, yet it remains one of the profound mysteries of our era. Imagine the universe, so vast and complex, containing over two trillion galaxies, each teeming with innumerable stars, planets, and moons. Every single celestial body, an entity in itself, bears the potential for life as we understand it, or perhaps even life as we can't fathom. Picture the cosmos, the ultimate backdrop for the greatest spectacle of all, the dance of life. A dance that to our current knowledge has only been performed on one stage, our little blue-green planet, Earth. But what if this dance, this chorus of life, isn't held captive to our world alone? Despite the absence of solid proof, the immense scope of the universe tantalizingly hints at the existence of otherworldly life. When we take into account the sheer number of potential habitats, the likelihood of life out there seems not just conceivable, but almost unavoidable. It's easy to cast off such notions as speculation in absence of hard evidence. Yet science isn't just about what we already know. It's also about what we can deduce from the evidence we possess. And the evidence strongly hints that the universe is not just capable of harboring life, but is teeming with opportunities for life to flourish. In this boundless cosmic arena, we are merely a minute player on the grand stage of existence. Nonetheless, our inquisitiveness and our insatiable desire for knowledge spur us on to explore, to investigate and to question. The expanse of the universe, abundant with countless celestial bodies, beckons us to consider the compelling possibility of life existing beyond our solitary planet. The possibility of extraterrestrial life may not be as remote as we imagine, especially if we consider that it might resemble earliest life forms on Earth, microscopic organisms known as microbes. These tiny life forms have shown a remarkable ability to endure and in the most extreme environments on our planet. From the scorching environments of thermal vents to the frigid conditions of the Antarctic, microbes have demonstrated a tenacious resilience that suggests they may be found beyond our planet as well. So where else in the universe could these microscopic beings potentially exist? Let's consider potential habitats within our own solar system. Mars, with its ancient watery landscapes, is a prime candidate. Despite its current barren and desolate appearance, there's evidence to suggest that water, a crucial ingredient for life, was once present there. And if there was water, there might have been, or perhaps there might still be, microbes. But our search doesn't stop there. Let's further afield to the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Beneath their frozen exteriors lie vast, hidden oceans. Might these subsurface seas be brimming with microbial life? This possibility is not as implausible as it may appear. After all, on Earth, microbes have been thriving in similar extreme conditions, deep within our oceans and under layers of ice. The search for microbial extraterrestrial life is more than just a scientific endeavor. It is a journey of discovery that promises to shed light on the mysteries of the universe and our place within it. The quest for these tiny yet potentially widespread organisms may well hold the answer to the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? So from the red landscapes of Mars to the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn, the search for microbial alien life continues, fueling our curiosity and expanding our understanding of life's extraordinary resilience. Could there be intelligent life forms actively relaying messages across the cosmos? As we journey through the intricate labyrinth of our universe, our quest for intelligence beyond our tiny blue dot intertwines science, philosophy and imagination. Spearheading this mission is the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI. Employing state-of-the-art technology, SETI researchers tirelessly comb the skies, intercepting radio and laser signals that might be the creative genius of advanced civilizations beyond our solar system. As we venture further into the cosmic abyss, a profound silence meets us head-on. This unexpected quiet, termed as the Fermi Paradox, presents a baffling question. If numerous technologically advanced civilizations exist, why haven't we captured any crystal clear signals from them? Could their technology be so advanced that it eludes our understanding? Or have we been looking in the wrong way or at the wrong instant? Despite the silence, our pursuit of extraterrestrial intelligence is hardly a vain exercise. With each passing day come fresh insights, novel technologies and limitless possibilities. The silence 
Rather than serving as a deterrent, acts as a challenge, a cosmic enigma awaiting resolution. It inspires us to fine-tune our methodologies, expand our outlooks, and reassess our suppositions about the nature of life and intelligence. As our quest continues, we must bear in mind that the universe functions on a timeline that dwarfs our human perception. What appears an eternity to us may just be a cosmic blink. The lack of definitive signals thus far does not imply their non-existence. It might merely suggest that our search hasn't been long enough, or that we are not yet ready to decipher the cosmic messages. The Fermi Paradox, symbolizing the cosmos's silence, adds an extra dimension of intrigue to our hunt for intelligent alien existence. Yet, armed with our curiosity, our insatiable quest for knowledge, enticing prospect of not being alone in the universe, alone in the universe, our search continues unabated. Mystery shrouds the world of unidentified flying objects and unexplained aerial phenomena. Could they be of intergalactic visitors? This query has seized the curiosity of masses globally, UFOs and UAPs, perplexing events that seem to challenge our comprehension of physics and flight. To some, these phenomena suggest enticing proof of extraterrestrial existence, the intriguing prospect of guests from far-off cosmos. Yet the scientific fraternity largely views these phenomena warily. While these unexplained events are certainly riveting, they fall short of providing solid proof of life from outer space. The reason being, the majority of these sightings lack the essential scientific data required for exhaustive study. Most are dependent on eyewitness testimonies, which, despite being captivating, aren't trustworthy of evidence. Furthermore, numerous phenomena can be attributed to natural or human-made happenings. Atmospheric influences, clandestine military exercises, or mere misinterpretations can easily account for these sightings. Recently, the US government has begun to pay greater attention to these sightings, initiating probes into several prominent occurrences, yet these inquiries haven't yielded any conclusive evidence of alien existence. This skepticism doesn't aim to deny the potential of extraterrestrial life, but rather it's a crucial part of the scientific method. Scientists must maintain a level of impartiality, inquiry and skepticism, particularly when handling a topic as profound and potentially life-changing as the presence of extraterrestrial beings. So where do we stand? While UFOs and UAPs continue to spark interest and fascination, the lack of solid evidence keeps us in a state of constant inquiry and exploration. It underlines the enormity of the cosmos and the enigmas it continues to hold. UFOs and UAPs undoubtedly fuel curiosity, but the lack of tangible evidence perpetuates our quest for answers. Our search for extraterrestrial life beckons a profound question. Are we alone in the universe? This existential query stems from our deep-seated yearning to understand the world beyond our own. It mirrors our inherent curiosity, our desire for connection, and our relentless quest for meaning. As we reach out into the cosmos, we grapple with the enigma that has intrigued humanity since the dawn of civilization. Is there an entity or consciousness out there in the vast expanse of the universe that's reaching back at us? These unanswered questions reverberate in the cosmic void, yet their echo fuels our resolve to explore, to seek, and to comprehend. In this boundless cosmic theater, our world is but a minute platform with billions of galaxies, each home to billions of stars and myriad planets, it's improbable that we are the sole bearers of life. However, the silence we have met so far is as baffling as it is humbling. This silence serves as a sobering reminder of our fleeting existence, emphasizing the importance of cherishing and preserving the only life we know, the life on Earth. But amidst the uncertainties and silence, there lies the joy of exploration itself. The excitement of unearthing new knowledge, the thrill of delving into the unknown, and the awe inspired by the cosmos are what define our quest. They are a testament to our indomitable spirit, our inventive minds, and our unquenchable curiosity. In essence, our pursuit of alien life validates our resilience, our relentless spirit of exploration, and our yearning to comprehend our role in the cosmic ballet. This pursuit is more than a scientific endeavor. It's a journey that could unite us as a species, reminding us of our shared origins and destiny. Our search for extraterrestrial life is ultimately a testament to the eternal human quest for understanding our place in the universe. 
In the early 1900s, the concept of extraterrestrial communication wasn't just a figment of science fiction. The idea was actively explored by some of the greatest minds of the time. Nikola Tesla, a name synonymous with groundbreaking discoveries and inventions, was among the first to suggest the possibility of communicating with beings from other planets. In 1896, Tesla proposed that an extreme version of his wireless electrical transmission system could potentially be used to contact extraterrestrial beings. Not far behind Tesla was Guglielmo Marconi, the man who gave us the radio. Marconi claimed to have picked up long-distance radio signals which he believed could have originated from Mars. His claims, though largely dismissed by the scientific community at the time, sparked a curiosity that would later become the foundation of SETI. In 1924, we saw a truly ambitious attempt to detect extraterrestrial signals. A radio receiver, the state-of-the-art technology of the time, was hoisted into the sky in a dirigible. The aim was to escape the radio interference on the Earth's surface and attempt to pick up potential signals from Mars. This, in essence, was one of the first proactive attempts to search for intelligent life beyond our own planet. These early endeavours, ambitious and filled with a sense of wonder, set the stage for what was to come. It was a time when the idea of communicating with extraterrestrial life was seen as a possibility, not merely a fantasy. A time when the boundaries of our understanding were pushed, and the search for the unknown was driven by curiosity and the spirit of discovery. These early efforts were the precursors to a more systematic and scientific approach to finding extraterrestrial life. The 1960s marked a pivotal era in the development of SETI. This decade, brimming with scientific curiosity and technological advancements, bore witness to the birth of the first modern SETI experiment, fondly named Project Ozma. It was a brainchild of the notable astronomer Frank Drake. He embarked on this ambitious endeavour with a clear vision and an unwavering resolve to unravel one of the universe's most profound mysteries the existence of intelligent life beyond our blue planet. Project Ozma, named after a character from L. Frank Baum's Oz series, was an audacious leap into the unknown. It represented a new era of scientific exploration where our gaze was no longer confined to the celestial bodies we could see with our naked eyes, but extended to the invisible realm of radio signals. Drake, armed with a radio telescope at Greenbank, West Virginia, aimed it at two sun-like stars, Tau Ceti and Epsilon Eridani, hoping to detect signs of extraterrestrial intelligence. This was no small task. It required not only a deep understanding of astronomy, but also a mastery of radio technology and a fair amount of luck. Despite the odds, Drake pressed on, sparking a new wave of interest in the search for intelligent life beyond Earth. The 1960s were not only significant for the birth of Project Ozma, but also for the interest shown by the Soviet Union in SETI. The Soviets, known for their formidable space program, also recognized the potential importance of this quest. Their interest in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence added a new dimension to the space race, transforming it from a competition for territorial conquest into a shared pursuit of knowledge and understanding. The 60s set the stage for a more dedicated and sophisticated search for extraterrestrial intelligence. It was a time when our curiosity about the cosmos transcended national boundaries and political ideologies. The seeds sown during this period would go on to shape SETI's future, paving the way for more advanced technologies and innovative approaches in our relentless quest to answer the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? In 1977, a significant event in the history of SETI occurred. This was the year when the Ohio State University's SETI program detected what is now famously known as the WOW signal. Named for the astonishment of the astronomer who first observed it, the WOW signal was a strong narrowband radio signal that appeared to come from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius. The signal bore the expected hallmarks of non-terrestrial and non-solar system origin, it lasted for a full 72 seconds, the entire window that the Big Ear radio telescope was able to observe it, but has not been detected since, despite numerous attempts to locate it. The WOW signal remains a tantalizing mystery. Was it a fleeting one-time transmission from an extraterrestrial civilization, or was it just an aberration of cosmic noise? We may never know. Fast forward to 2023, and we encounter another intriguing episode in the SETI Chronicles. 
This year saw the transmission of a test extraterrestrial signal from Mars to Earth. This was not a signal from Martians, but rather a demonstration of our own technological advancement. The signal was an audacious experiment to test our ability to receive and interpret potential communications from extraterrestrial civilization. These signals, the WOW and the Mars transmission, though vastly different in nature and origin, share a common thread. They both serve as potent reminders of our quest to answer one of the most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? These signals, though unconfirmed, fueled the fire of curiosity and exploration for SETI. As we moved into the 80s, SETI took on a new form. The US Planetary Society was founded in 1980 with a mission to support SETI studies and further our quest to uncover cosmic companions. This organization became a beacon of hope for those seeking answers to the universe's greatest enigmas, fostering a community for the dedicated researchers and passionate enthusiasts alike. Around the same time, a significant development was proposed by an astrophysicist named Paul Horowitz. He had a vision of a spectrum analyzer specifically designed for SETI. The idea was to create a device that could scan the skies more efficiently and effectively, enhancing our ability to detect potential extraterrestrial signals. This proposal marked a turning point in the history of SETI, as it underscored the importance of technology in the search for intelligent life beyond Earth. And so the evolution began. The first of these analyzers was affectionately dubbed Suitcase SETI, due to its portable nature. This compact device was capable of taking SETI research out of the traditional laboratory setting and into various locations around the globe. The suitcase SETI was a testament to how far we had come, demonstrating that the tools for exploring the cosmos could be as mobile as we are. As time went on, the technology continued to advance. Projects like META, which stands for Mega Channel Extraterrestrial Assay, and BETA, short for Billion Channel Extraterrestrial Assay, came into existence. These initiatives boasted increased channel capacity and resolution, allowing for even more precise scans of the celestial sphere. They represented the pinnacle of SETI technology during their time, pushing the boundaries of what was possible in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. SETI has come a long way since its inception, with technology playing a crucial role in its evolution. Each advancement, each piece of equipment, each project has been a stepping stone on this grand journey of cosmic exploration. And as we continue to move forward, who knows what other marvels await us in the vast expanse of the universe? So, why does SETI matter? The answer lies in our inherent desire to understand the universe we inhabit. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence is more than just a scientific endeavor. It's a testament to our unyielding spirit of exploration and discovery. SETI pushes the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding, driving us to question and explore the unknown. It challenges us to develop new technologies, to think creatively and innovatively and to constantly refine our methods of investigation. But perhaps most importantly, SETI reminds us of our shared humanity. It reflects our collective aspiration to reach beyond our own world, to connect with something larger than ourselves. It fosters a sense of unity and purpose, a common goal that transcends borders and cultures. In a world often divided, SETI offers a powerful symbol of cooperation and shared curiosity. It encourages us to look beyond our differences and work together towards a common goal. And so, as we continue to gaze at the stars and question our place in the universe, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence remains a beacon of our unwavering curiosity. Let's delve into this tantalizing question as we embark on a cosmic journey exploring the mysteries of Titan, the only moon in our solar system with a dense atmosphere and stable liquid on its surface. Imagine stepping back in time, witnessing our Earth billions of years ago. This journey isn't too far-fetched when we look at Titan. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, is a fascinating world that mirrors the early stages of our home planet. Just like the primordial Earth, Titan's atmosphere is thick with nitrogen. But here's the twist. Instead of water, Titan's surface is dotted with lakes and rivers of liquid methane and ethane. That's right, on this distant moon, methane behaves like water does on Earth, shaping the landscape and possibly playing a role in some intriguing chemistry. Furthermore, the presence of complex organic molecules on Titan's surface and in its atmosphere adds another layer of similarity with the early Earth. These molecules, the building blocks of life as we know it, 
might be interacting in ways that could potentially support life. Titan, in many ways, is a frozen version of our early Earth, giving us a unique opportunity to study conditions that may have led to life. If we do find life on Titan, what does this mean for us and our understanding of life itself? Well, the implications are simply profound. For starters, it would mean that life isn't just an earthly phenomenon. It could exist anywhere, under conditions far removed from those we consider habitable. In the frigid temperatures and methane lakes of Titan, life may have found a way to thrive, demonstrating an adaptability and resilience that shatters our Earth-centric view of biology. Imagine microbial life forms surviving not on water, but on liquid methane. It sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But such a discovery would force us to rethink our definition of life, expanding the possibilities beyond what we've always known and understood. Moreover, finding life on Titan would boost the theory of panspermia, the idea that life exists throughout the universe distributed by meteoroids, asteroids, comets, and planetoids. Titan, in this case, could be a living testament to life's incredible journey through the cosmos. And let's not forget, such a discovery would also have implications for the search for life beyond our solar system. If life can survive on Titan, then why not on exoplanets with similar conditions? This could broaden our search parameters, opening up new avenues in our quest to find extraterrestrial life. Discovering life on Titan could revolutionize our understanding of life's adaptability, resilience, and most importantly, its universality. The mysteries of Titan beckon us, promising a glimpse into life's potential and its cosmic ubiquity. As we stand on the brink of a new era of space exploration, what does the future hold for Titan? If you thought the mysteries of Titan were intriguing, just wait until you hear about the upcoming missions that are set to explore this enigmatic moon even further. One of the most exciting endeavors on the horizon is NASA's Dragonfly mission. This is no ordinary exploratory mission. Dragonfly is a drone-like rotorcraft that will take advantage of Titan's dense atmosphere and low gravity to fly to dozens of promising locations, studying the moon's composition and searching for signs of past or present life. Imagine that, a drone flying over the surface of another world, almost a billion miles away in search of life. It's almost like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's real. And it's happening within this decade. Dragonfly will be equipped with instruments capable of identifying large organic molecules, which are the building blocks of life. It will explore diverse environments from organic dunes to the floor of an impact crater, where liquid water and complex organic materials key to life once existed together for possibly tens of thousands of years. But the Dragonfly mission isn't the only exciting venture in the works. Other agencies and private companies are also eyeing Titan with interest, planning their own missions to explore this fascinating world. From landers and orbiters to even submarines designed to probe Titan's methane lakes, the future of Titan exploration is brimming with possibilities. These missions could potentially provide evidence of life on Titan, which would revolutionize our understanding of where life can exist and how it forms. It's a thrilling prospect, isn't it? The idea that we could find life on a world so different from our own that operates under such alien rules is a testament to the extraordinary adaptability of life itself. On October 16, 2021, the Lucy spacecraft was launched. Its destination, the Jupiter Trojans, two groups of asteroids accompanying Jupiter on its orbit around the Sun. To reach its destination, Lucy employs a technique known as gravity assist, a celestial dance with our home planet. Harnessing the Earth's gravitational pull, Lucy boosts its speed and elongates its orbit. The first of these gravity assists took place on October 16, 2022, a year after the spacecraft's launch. The next one is scheduled two years later, an essential step in Lucy's long voyage to the distant asteroid swarms. The trajectory of Lucy's journey is not just a path through space, but a voyage into the unknown, a quest for knowledge and a testament to our species' insatiable curiosity. Thus began Lucy's extraordinary journey towards understanding these mysterious swarms of asteroids. The first gravity assist was not just a speed boost, it was also a crucial test for Lucy's instruments. As Lucy swung by Earth, it used our very own planet and its moon as calibration targets. This crucial process allowed the spacecraft to fine-tune its instruments, ensuring they were in tip-top condition for the long journey ahead. Meanwhile, on the ground, NASA was hard at work, scanning the skies for potential collisions with satellites and debris. 
This careful monitoring ensured Lucy's safe passage through our planet's crowded orbit. As Lucy continued its journey, it emerged from the sun's glare in Western Australia, transforming from an invisible entity into a visible spectacle for stargazers. At its closest approach, Lucy skimmed above the Earth at a mere 219 miles, lower than the International Space Station. It then crossed into Earth's shadow, disappearing from sight once more. With this successful initial phase, Lucy sped away from Earth, crossing the lunar orbit in less than a day. This marked the beginning of Lucy's long journey to the Jupiter Trojans, a voyage of discovery and exploration. After this first gravity assist, Lucy prepared for over two years in deep space until its second gravity assist in December 2024. This period of isolation in the inky blackness was a time of silent observation and data collection. As Lucy approached the moon, it captured stunning images of our celestial companion, revealing the moon in a light that we seldom see. This long voyage, however, was more than just a solitary journey through the vast expanse of space. It was a prelude to the second gravity assist, a maneuver that would propel Lucy further into the heart of the Jupiter Trojans. And beyond that, a final rendezvous with Earth awaited in December 2030, marking the completion of Lucy's extraordinary tour of the Trojans. But this journey, as remarkable as it is, extends beyond the physical realm. It's an expedition into the unknown, a quest to decipher the mysteries of our solar system. Lucy's mission is to study these elusive swarms of asteroids, to illuminate the shadowy corners of our cosmic neighborhood, and to delve into the origins of these celestial bodies. April 10th, 2023 marked a pivotal moment in astronomy. The Finch, a curious blue light, was detected by the Zwicky Transient Facility. This detection wasn't just another blip on the radar, far from it. The Finch, with its unique characteristics, grabbed the attention of astronomers worldwide, causing a stir in the scientific community. It was not just another discovery. It was an enigma, a puzzle to be solved. But what made the Finch so special? Typically found in star-forming regions of galaxies, the Finch's location was an anomaly. This enigmatic flash of blue light was nestled in the vast expanse of intergalactic space, far from the bustling stellar cities we call galaxies. It sat in solitude, a lone beacon in the darkness, distance from any known galaxy. This unusual location raised eyebrows and quickened pulses, prompting astronomers to lean in closer to explore further. This anomaly spurred further investigation. Employing a fleet of telescopes, astronomers embarked on a detailed study of the Finch. This cosmic investigation brought together some of the most powerful observational tools at our disposal. The Hubble Space Telescope, with its wide field of view and high resolution, the Gemini South Telescope, known for its infrared capabilities, and the Chandra X-ray Observatory, a specialist in detecting X-ray emission from very hot regions of the universe. Their observations revealed some extraordinary characteristics. With a staggering temperature of about 36,000 degrees Fahrenheit and a rapid fading brightness, the Finch stood out as an extraordinary flash of blue light. Its intense blue hue and swift luminosity changes distinguished it from other known luminous blue lights. The Finch's temperature, hotter than many stars, coupled with its brightness that dims rapidly, lends a unique charm to this celestial spectacle. Its peculiar location and characteristics sparked various theories, making the Finch a captivating subject for astronomers and cosmic enthusiasts alike. The Finch's peculiar location has sparked various theories, some astronomers suggest that we might be witnessing the aftermath of a cataclysmic neutron star collision. Others postulate that the Finch could be interacting with an elusive intermediate mass black hole. A cosmic phenomenon that's been theorized but never directly observed. Whatever the truth may be, the discovery of the Finch is undeniably reshaping our understanding of the universe, challenging long-held beliefs and opening up fresh avenues of inquiry. The discovery of the Finch is reshaping our understanding of stellar events. As a celestial outlier, it's pushing the boundaries of our cosmic knowledge. The Finch's distinctive characteristics and remote location present new questions about the universe's structure and the evolution of galaxies. Its study could lead to groundbreaking insights into the physics of extreme stellar phenomena, potentially revolutionizing our understanding of the cosmos and it continues to intrigue astronomers as we peer deeper into the cosmos. 
As we peer deeper into the cosmos with advanced telescopes like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, the enigma of such blue lights continues to intrigue astronomers. These celestial wonders, with the finch leading the way, incite a quest for knowledge and exploration. Future research will focus on uncovering the origins and mechanisms of these transient events. The role of advanced telescopes in this endeavor is crucial, providing the eyes through which we explore these mysteries. The finch, a beacon in the dark expanse, reminds us of the ever-present mysteries of the cosmos. This mysterious flash of blue light has reshaped our understanding of stellar events, and continues to intrigue astronomers. Waiting to be unraveled, the finch stands as a testament to the mysteries of the cosmos.